Angles can be classified into various categories according to their measures. An angle whose measure lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees is called an acute angle. Here the measures of the angles are 25 degrees, 52 degrees and 79 degrees. So these are acute angles. An angle whose measure is 90 degree is called a right angle. Here the measure of angle AOB is 90 degrees. So it is a right angle. An angle whose measure lies between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Here the angles measure 91 degrees, 136 degrees and 172 degrees. So these are obtuse angles. An angle whose measure is 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Two opposite rays with the same end point form a straight angle. Here, angle POQ is equal to 180 degrees, so it is a straight angle. If the angle between two rays or two lines or two line segments is 90 degrees, then we say that the two rays or two lines or the two line segments are perpendicular to each other. Here the rays OP and OQ form an angle of 90 degrees. So we say ray OP and ray OQ are perpendicular to each other. Similarly, lines AB and CD intersect each other at O forming an angle of 90 degree. So line AB and line CD are perpendicular to each other. Also line segments LM and MN form an angle of 90 degree. So LM and MN are perpendicular to each other. You can see many examples of perpendicularity in your daily life. The legs of a table are perpendicular to the ground. An electricity pole is also perpendicular to the ground and so on. Observe the opposite edges of your ruler. The opposite edges of a ruler or a book give an example of parallel lines. In fact, two lines which never intersect even if produced are called parallel lines. Here lines AB and CD are parallel. Also, rays PQ and RS are parallel. Observe the lines AB and CD which do not intersect. Are these parallel? No, these are not parallel because if we extend the line AB, it intersects CD. Let us now see how we draw perpendicular and parallel lines. Suppose we want to draw a line segment which is perpendicular to a given line segment AB at point O. To do so, we draw an angle of 90 degree at point O using a protractor. Since angle BOC is equal to 90 degrees, so CO is perpendicular to AB. We can also draw the perpendicular lines using set squares instead of the protractor. Place the ruler along AB and hold it tightly. Now place a set square adjacent to the ruler such that the corner with 90 degree coincides with the point O. Draw a line along the vertical edge of the set square. Lift the set square and the ruler. We get OC perpendicular to AB at O. 
Now let us draw a line through point X perpendicular to a given line AB. Place one edge of the right angle of any set square along AB. Next, place the longest side of other set square along the vertical edge of the first set square and hold the second set square tightly and slide the first set square until its edge passes through the point X. Now draw a line along this edge passing through X. Remove both the set squares. The line XY so obtained is parallel to line AB passing through X.